to skin it because uh, like I say without the fat stores there everything tightens up a lot more it makes them a lot harder to flash and harder to flash means easier to put a hole in the pelt so yeah I got I got away with this one where I put and it was a good gash too uh, in that otter pelt but I got away with it because it was on the belly thank God uh, so yeah uh, but yeah if you do them early on they're gonna dry quicker so that's an, a huge advantage and they're gonna be cleaner you know what I mean they're just gonna be a cleaner pelt so again better presentation uh, should up the, uh, the fur grade now that said fur prices a lot of people need to research fur pelt handling I'm still again you know it's funny how it's kind of like riding a bicycle you don't never forget how to do it but you, you forget little things like for my otters all my otters except for this previous one or this last one I kind of screwed up on the legs I didn't really realize that because I kind of forgot what to do with the legs now I just tie them off and look so much better and uh, that presentation can sometimes devalue your your uh, your pelt so your beavers make sure they're symmetrical on their on their drying sometimes you can't help it uh, but a lot of it is like process for example one of my beavers the legs a little over to one side but most of them are fairly fairly squared up but one was over because when I cut him in the initial cut I was a little more to one side going over his chest so what shortens off the pelt on one side right so uh, when you when you go to pin him up so little things like that you pick up over time and then you start to make it better you know you start to catch yourself in it and it's little details that work out to efficiencies that get you further so oh that little beaver I didn't make, break my record uh, uh, I, I, I got two beavers that I've skinned in 35 minutes and the one in 36 the nice thing is that if I can keep the whole beavers under two hours of work uh, fleshing pinning them up everything like that then if you get 20 bucks at least it's 10 bucks an hour you know what I mean uh, so from the first beaver of the season again even with all the thousands of well, maybe not thousands but a couple of hundred animals over since I was a kid that I've fleshed and skinned and done it's like starting over the first beaver of the season was six and a half hours of work even though it was a big beaver just there was just that relearning curve right but now if I would have caught that big beaver now that'd, that'd be a that'd be a a, that'd be a very good payday uh, because I could do a better job on it so that's just some of the things and we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later on when I uh, start to bag up my furs for the week and stuff like that and then of course after next Sunday after the fur pickup the good news 